What exactly is CIRDES? It's a conjunction of two words, serializer and deserializer, and is used to transfer large amounts of information over a coax or multiple shielded twisted pair cables. CIRDES technology is bidirectional. In the forward direction called forward channel is a high bandwidth uncompressed data flow, while in the reverse direction is called a back channel and there is slower communications as possible. The back channel and camera systems can be used to control general purpose I.O. on either side of the link. Once a link is established, the back channel can be used to bring a device out of reset, negotiate a monitor resolution um, with a video a sync device, or communicate over an inter-integrated circuit or I2C chip-to-chip -chip communications. In general, Parallel data flows are not able to scale in speed and keep up with technology demands. Thinking about every microprocessor or FPGA, there is inherent jitter associated with each digital bit. In a parallel data processing, the usage of strobe or latching of the data becomes very critical to ensure you the data is received and translated at the correct time. When does jitter become an issue during a parallel data flow the jitter component becomes tighter and tighter as a function of higher data speeds. Discrete signals also have shorter distance requirements due to this jitter component. So the longer the cable or trace, the increase the jitter, the increased jitter will be um, seen. To get higher data rates, a reliable data flow, we need to encode more data in one time quanta right over here versus having a single bit of information like a digital one or zero. This is the introduction of what's called pulse amplitude modulation, or PAM for short. This is introduced on the serial data flows over the serialized link. In some links, they use what's called PAM4, which has four discrete voltage levels within one time quanta, doubling the number of bits possible at any one given time. But it also does that at the cost of noise susceptibility. Right here, we're showing these is what's typically called an I diagram. And this is the bit encoding and the grayscale gray code right here. Between the CIRDES pairs, you have a couple of different interfaces, either a 50 ohm coax or a 100 ohm twisted pair. And if you're using the coax interface, there's a possibility to transfer power over coax, or POC for short, within the CIRDES technologies on various chips. This is ideal to power up cameras uh, typically from 12 to 35 volts is the POC spec, and typically the deserializer portion is able to sync or source about 250 milliamps. Um, this value will obviously de uh, vary depending on the type of inductor used in the POC filter circuit. Below is an example of the data and power flow. So you have the forward channel coming from the camera itself in high bandwidth, and then you have a back channel coming from the controller back to bring the camera, say, out of a reset or synchronize frame triggers for multiple cameras from one source. In the middle, we have our RAD Phobis device that allows you to split the signal or extend the signal. Some common automotive series technologies exist today, and this is an example showing our RAD Mars device and showing again this forward channel and then back channel communications. The back channel is bi-directional. Right here we'd be capturing two cameras, reading that information in, pixel by pixel, frame by frame, and then transmitting that to the controller. All of this would be synchronized with CAN and other Ethernet um, signals in one time base, one piece of hardware. We have a USB Type 3 connection back to our PC where we can monitor and see the health of the device and see what's going on with the data logging. We also have a 10 gigabit per second link that you can stream out raw uh, pixel or raw uh, video images for the visualization in a vehicle. Some of the common automotive series technologies that exist today are GMSL 2 and 3 from ADI Maxim and FPD Link 3 and 4 from Texas Instruments and a new standard coming out called Motion Link by the automotive